In this video, I'm going to show you how to do part D of this problem. So here's the original problem. Red Elk throws a ball with a horizontal velocity from the roof of a building. It's 21 meters tall. The ball lands 17 meters from the base of the building. What time is the ball in the air? We already solved those. And now we're being asked this advanced question, which is what is the velocity and position of the ball when it's 10 meters above the ground? Well, that's kind of a tricky thing to ask, right? Because here's Here's this ball, and it's going to go down 21 meters and go over 17 meters. So really, what when we say it's 10 meters above the ground, what we really need to put in our little table of things that we know is that we've gone down 11 meters, right? If this is 10 meters, we've gone down 11 meters, okay? So that's sort of the tricky thing. But other than that, this is not terribly tricky, okay? So we set up a horizontal thing and vertical. Displacement, initial velocity, final acceleration and time. Displacement, initial, final acceleration and time. Right? And then we, we fill these things in. All projectile motion problems have zero acceleration, which makes these guys equal. This is negative 9.81 because we're on Earth. Different on the Moon and Mars and things like that, right? Okay. Um, here it says an elevation of 10 meters, that means we've gone down only 11 meters. So let's make this negative 11 meters. Okay, our initial velocity is zero because in the problem it says a purely horizontal velocity, right? Okay, and then, um, oh, these guys we know from the previous problem. I'm saying we need to know more, right? I'm guessing that those velocities right there Okay, are these guys here because it's the same launch. So this is 8.216 approximately meters per second. Okay, and now I'm ready to solve. I think we can solve this thing, right? Um, I can find the final velocity using uh, v squared is u squared plus 2as, right? So the absolute value of v is, uh, this guy is zero, right? So it's the square root of two times negative 9.81 times negative 11. Okay, square root of 2 times. And again, when people aren't looking, I don't type those in. Okay, so I don't type the minus signs in. 14.6908, okay. Now, this thing is definitely moving downward. Since that's the absolute value of it, I'm justified in putting a minus sign there. Were it moving up, I'd make it positive, but it's definitely negative, right? Okay. Uh, and then the time I can do, I can find the time by using um, S is UT plus 1 half AT squared. And, of course, the initial velocity is zero, so uh, I believe... T is equal to the square root of twice S over A. Just solving that, right? And then that's the square root of 2 times negative 11 divided by negative 9.81. Let's type that in. Square root of 2 times divided by negative. I'm going to store that in T just for fun. 1.4975. Right? Five, three. Oh, I don't know. It just keeps going. It keeps going and going. Okay. And then I'm going to take that and castle that over there. 1.4975. Right? And now we're all set on this side here. We've got the time. We've got the initial velocity, right? And the final. So we can use the only formula we ever use. S equals UT. Right? So it's going to be this guy times this guy, right? It's going to be 8.216 times 1.4975. I'm just going to take that value that's in my calculator and go times 8.216. And I get 12.304. Okay. And now we arrive at the interesting, and I don't know if this is interesting at all really, Okay, but that this spot right there is 11 meters down. We knew that. It's 12.3 meters over. Or 12 meters over with sig figs, right? Okay, 11 meters down. I don't know if you ever cared about that, but now you know it, right? And then we can figure out the velocity at that point. 
the velocity is always this guy, right? We can bust that guy out, right? It says, what is the velocity? Well, let's write the velocity two different ways. Let's write it as a vector component. All right, so let's go 8.2 meters per second in the x direction plus negative, I guess I have to say negative 15 with two sig figs. That is vector component notation, right? Now let's make it an angle magnitude. Let's go over and down. It's 8.216 over, and then it's uh, quite a bit down, right? It's more than that down. Right? Let's draw it a little longer. This is 14.6908, and we can now find a magnitude for that guy. Square root of 8.216 squared plus 14.6908 squared. Sixteen point eight three. Right, so we'd have to say with sig figs that's seventeen meters per second with two sig figs. Okay, and then let's find this angle right there. Right, that angle is ten minus one of the opposite side over the adjacent side. Right, here's opposite adjacent. Six uh, fourteen point six nine zero eight divided by eight point two one six. The inverse tan of that. Divided by 8.26. And I get 60.78 degrees. Right, so we'd have to say 61 degrees. Okay? So we've answered the question. Uh, its position is, is uh, 12.3 over 11 down. Right, when it's 10 meters above the ground, that was pretty obvious. I'd be 11 down anyway, right? Um, its velocity is 8.2 meters per second in the x direction, negative 15 meters per second in the y direction, approximately, right? And then if we bust that out, that's actually um, 17 meters per second. This is the speed. If they ask you what's the speed of the object when it's there, it's 17 meters per second. What's its velocity? Well, it's 17 meters per second at an angle of 61 degrees below the horizontal. That's not so bad, is it?